Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. This is Farm Sim 2017. I am currently on a Farm Sim server with a lot of the people from San Andres' finest, SAF. Uh, we have uh, Morris who is 270 in here. Uh, we have Duckman Gaming. We have Womack Games. Uh, we have Titer, uh, our one of our dispatchers. We also have Cole Vanman, uh, C. Vandal, he's one of our deputies. Uh, we have a, a few other people that are interested in joining as well. You've got myself, of course, Irish Red. And um, we also have uh, a, another guy, Farmer Joe. And, uh, you know, we've been uh, working on this just a little bit here. Welcome to, this is actually Titer's Farm here. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, quite a few implements already. And if we check out over here, uh, this is one of Titer's fields. Uh, basically, if we open up the map or enlarge it a little bit, uh, we're down here on uh, field 28. And uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on uh, field 28, 29, and 35 today, as uh, Titer does own uh, all of those fields and 34. I'm sorry, I forgot that one down there. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing some spraying on these fields. If we uh, take a look at our actual map here, and, oops, one too far, there we go. We can see uh, we've got a lot of mods installed. We've got a lot of uh, special mods installed, uh, mods that, uh, you know, are, are not necessarily uh, released to the public, uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we have a lot of great mods in here and one of the mods is the seasons mod and what that mod does if we open up up here with the alt s button and we get a ding from the computer because it doesn't like uh, you know the uh, alt being held as we can see uh, it lists all of the available crops that we have to us that we can actually you know plant however we have these different bars. The green bar means that you can actually plant those crops. Well, as you can see, most of the uh, you know crops can only be planted in spring. We have the four seasons up here. We have spring, we have summer, we have autumn, and we have winter. Yes, we do uh, get snow in the winter, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, we will get there. Um, each season is roughly nine days long. So right now we are on real time. So, you know, we, they uh, did speed it up uh, a little bit just to make, to see if uh, the crops would grow properly. So we might have skipped maybe one day or a half a day just to uh, pass the 12 a.m. threshold. Um, just to make sure that, you know, crops were going to grow properly. But uh, down here, all of the yellows, as you can see, you got a lot of yellow uh, over here in the autumn. Well, of course you do, because that's when the harvest season is. And some of the crops, you know, you can harvest in the spring, depending on when you plant them, like the oilseed radish. You, know, you can plant those all the way up to the ninth day of autumn, and those are considered a winter crop, which means that you can pick them in the spring. How cool is that? So we do have the Seasons mod. Uh, we have a GPS mod, uh, which is very handy. Uh, we also have, let's turn our mini, mini map back on there. Um, we have a uh, basically an inspector type mod. That's what's up in the upper left hand corner. It uh, shows you know, what uh, vehicles are uh, doing and how many crops they are holding we have this super speedy run which uh, yeah basically when you're running this fast you outrun any vehicle that we have in this server right now we're running over here to fields uh, 23 24 and 81 it is currently kind of a mess uh, we just uh, got done harvesting last night late last night a lot of this grass area because it finally grew uh, Tiger and I have kind of gone in together here and we have some chickens oh, we got an egg excellent 
Uh, the chickens are by far the easiest. They lay eggs and we collect the eggs, sell them, we get money. Uh, they don't require anything else. They just sit here and produce eggs all day long. It's awesome. Uh, but this is actually my area that I have claimed. We have, as you can hear in the background, we have sheep. This is our sheep farm. Tiger and I actually went in and, uh, you know, bought uh, about 40 sheep. I bought 20 of them. She bought the other 20. Got a heck of a deal on them. Uh, you know, they were going for right around 6k per sheep. Uh, we actually uh, got them for, uh, you know, a little under 5k per sheep. And they are very loud eaters, if you can uh, imagine. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. They're also very messy eaters. Uh, so, if we take a look at our escape menu here and we start scrolling through here, we can see the animals. Um, and it gives you a breakdown. Sheep owned, we have 40 of them. Productivity is 100%. That's mean, that means they are producing as much wool as possible. Um, how much wool do we have? Well, currently we're at 5%. And remember, we, we just uh, bought these sheep, um, you know, a little under six maybe seven hours ago it was uh, late last night when we bought these sheep so you know that's actually quite impressive for 40 sheep cleanliness is 93 uh, percent basically the more clean the sheep are uh, which is this grass here on the ground uh, the more uh, wool they were, will produce their uh, productivity goes down as the cleanliness goes down the water goes down and or the hay or grass in their feeding trough goes down. And as you can see, animals always need water. They also require a clean feeding area and some, some require straw. The food mixture consists of, that's basically what we have to feed the sheep, 100% grass, either hay or grass. Well, our field uh, 24 right here and in between 23 and 24 uh, all grew last night. And so this is kind of what it looked like before. Uh, we didn't get all of this uh, chopped up, but this is what it looks like after. Um, I kind of had a derp and you will see lines of grass. Yeah, I kind of forgot to turn on one of the mowers. It would have been the center mower. And so, yeah, the, I let, started leaving these uh, lines of uh, grass here, my bad. It was actually a uh, neon laser, neon. Uh, he was, he's on the server as well. He uh, pointed that out to me and I'm like, whoops. So yeah, that happened. But anyway, uh, even with that, uh, we have this forage wagon, which is pretty much full of uh, grass. I believe this holds some uh, 59,000. Let's take a look here we hit P, we can open up our menu for our vehicles, and this is where we buy it. Or you can buy it, or you can go to the shop and buy. So if we look at our loading wagon, this is the one that we have. It holds 50,000 liters, and yeah, that thing is just about full with grass. 50,000 50, liters of grass. Plus, we have all of this grass over here. That's a lot of grass. Uh, I, I don't think the sheep are going to have issues. Over here, yeah, we also got 46 bales of hay out of that grass field as well. And that was just field 24. We still have field 23 and 81 that have yet to uh, grow so that we can mow it down and get even more hay. Um, with the Seasons mod, if you leave the crops out onto the field for too long, they wither and die if you don't harvest them in time. Or if you chop them down, like your straw or your grass uh, or even your hay, uh, if it rains on them, the yield gets smaller or it starts to rot out in the field. If you don't use the bales within a certain amount of time, uh, they will also start rotting. So, yeah, we um, have to, you know, keep these high and dry, and they should be okay uh, as long as they are kept dry. Uh, this whole Seasons mod is uh, brand new to me. 
uh, I, we, we played a little bit on an older map and I was trying to learn the basics of the seasons mod but yeah it's too much of a pain in the butt so you know I hope you guys like this series I, I know we're jumping in a little bit late to the uh, starting of recording but I wanted to make sure that everything was going to go as smooth as possible we actually had a bit of a uh, mishap so we thought uh, none of our crops across the entire map were growing and we thought that uh, you know there was a, a glitch in the system where we had to completely plow the field uh, and you know start over from scratch because again if we take a look at our map here and we come over to our actual map there we go we can turn on and off different fruit types uh, so we can turn on wheat and we can see what uh, fields have wheat currently planted on them there we go and all of those are wheat fields uh, we can turn on canola and it will add a different color there we go there's all of the canola uh, soybeans which is what tiger and I currently have there's all of the fields with soybeans and of course you know we can turn these other colors off as well to get a clearer picture there we go so we've got soybeans all in here uh, potatoes give it a moment to load there we go we got a couple of fields with some potatoes in them uh, oil seed radishes there we go we got some radishes up there in 21 70 69 58 grass of course will be lighting up almost the entire map uh, even along the roadways which that's what the orange lines are those are uh, you know basically highways uh, this blue line here is a freeway uh, and then the light blue lines are kind of backcountry roads uh, two tracks dirt roads basically so as you can see we have quite a few roads and I keep on saying as you can see uh, that must be the word of the day so we'll turn off our potatoes and you know we can go through and start turning these on we got sunflowers we got barley we got corn or maize in some parts of the country uh, or world they call it maize we got sugar beets we have poplar which is uh, it's a source of wood chips I'm not exactly sure what it is but I did read the uh, help on it basically you can plant it down they're almost like small little saplings uh, they grow fairly quickly and it just provides you with an absolute ungodly amount of uh, wood chips apparently so that's something we might look into as uh, you know we have a lot of forestry equipment already uh, we have a little bit of oats up here in uh, field 13 I'm not exactly sure who owns that I think uh, Womack owns those up there uh, and then finally we have rye and milo but I don't think there are any fields that are holding rye or milo and there are not so if we take a look at the growth chart we can see just how fast and well our crops are growing and it is on a scale from kind of this light yellowish green all the way to a dark green um, and then when it gets to this yellow color like 15 here and along all of the roads that means that it's ready to harvest and there's three stages for ready to harvest four stages for growth a lot of our fields are on the first to second stage uh, we actually got about halfway through field 23 here if we zoom in and take a look we uh, you know started replanting field 23 because it was supposed to be grass but it was not growing so we uh, we went through and we plowed it we cultivated it and I was halfway through uh, you know planting it for grass so that uh, you know we could get it done well yeah that didn't turn out so well because it ticked over midnight right there just above the three and booted all of us out of the server with all of the updates it had to do and this half of the um, the field here just absolutely exploded with the grass everywhere uh, this half I finished 
out after midnight. It would have been midnight of this day that we are currently playing right now. Uh, so yeah, that uh, was fun. But 24 here actually, uh, you know, became yellow. And so that's the field that we harvested last night was field 24. So yeah, there's a lot of things we'll uh, kind of go through and walk through as we uh, get there. You know, we can take a look at, you know, the plowed fields. So any of the fields that have been plowed, it will show us what fields those are. Uh, there's a bit of a glitch with it as well at times. You have to kind of run through all of the fields that you own, or basically the entire map, in order for it to start showing up some of these um, icons uh, on the map. So like, see up there, 7776 has been cultivated. Uh, and that'll show up, but some of these other ones won't because I know for a fact that uh, 35 has been plowed and cultivated because I did that. Uh, same with 23. But it's not showing up because I haven't actually run through those fields yet to inspect them. Uh, harvested. That uh, was the thing that we were concerned about. See, all of this purple here. It's basically saying that we have to completely start over from scratch. We have to plow it, we have to cultivate it, we have to plant it. And that's what the entire map looked like, was this purple color. And it was a pain in the rear because we weren't sure, uh, you know, if anything was going to grow. Well, our fears were set to rest uh, last night. As, like I said, everything grew all at once at midnight. And it uh, it was kind of crazy because it, well, kicked us out of the server. So we have all that. We have uh, different selling points and different prices for all of the crops. Uh, we've been doing quite a bit of wood chip selling right now. Uh, Duckman actually had uh, quite a few trees that he wanted us to chop down up between a couple of his fields. So with the help of uh, Womack and basically everybody, uh, we chopped down those trees, got them drowned up, and that's what you saw over there in that other part of my storage was uh, a bunch of wood chips. So we're waiting for the price on those to come up a little bit. 161 is okay. Uh, the other night, though, it was in great demand, so I sold them for almost $400 a uh, thousand liters, which that was a nice little haul that we uh, brought in, uh, helped buy some of the equipment that we have. Uh, as you can see, wool, once we get a full pallet of wool, is going for ten and a half thousand dollars per liter. And I'm not exactly sure how much a how many liters a full pallet holds, but that's a nice chunk of change. And that wasn't realized until after I had already picked and said, Yeah, I'll 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 do this sheep farm. Uh, you know, because that's what I started doing in the previous map. And we get here, and holy cow, wool is absolutely ridiculous in price. And it's easy to maintain. So that's a bonus. But anyway, guys, that's enough talking. This is the uh, vehicle we're going to be running today. It is the John Deere uh, sprayer, the R4045 sprayer. And if we hit enter here, we will start it up. There we go. We have working beacon lights. We also have working, uh, you know, brake lights, turn signals, hazards, everything like that. So let's go ahead and we will come out here to the start of our field. And we will set up the GPS to start uh, spraying this field. So yeah, I, I hope you like this series, guys. Uh, you know, I'm kind of taking a chance here recording it for you. I'm not exactly sure, you know, uh, where I will start throwing this in. But it's also kind of a nice little change from, uh, you know, all of the LSPDFR that I've been playing, uh, all of the Minecraft, also all of the server work that I've been doing with uh, SAF. It's nice to just kind of get out here and, uh, you know, do a little bit of farm sim and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this in. As you can see at the top, we have a compass mod installed as well. 
and we're going to line this up try and get it right on 360 or 0, 0.0 whichever one it wants to actually do for us there we go now if we hold control and hit zero on the number pad and period on the number pad it will bring up these lines and still holding control will bring up the cursor well what we can do is let go of uh, control real quick hit X and that will unfold our spraying arms now our sprayer here has about a 40 meter range unfortunately uh, farm sim was developed overseas uh, and everything over there is in meters so the bulk of the game is in meters uh, we do have miles an hour and stuff like that for moving but as far as units of measure uh, yeah it's pretty much all uh, metric and not imperial which is a little bit of a pain for uh, all of us that are, you know, Imperial users. But anyway, uh, we are going to set the working width on this. Uh, th like I said, this has a 40 foot range, but we want to overlap it just a little bit because sometimes if you go right at uh, the 40 foot or 40 meter mark, it doesn't spray completely. It leaves kind of a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to the work width and we are going to drop this down to uh, about 36 meters and that should be enough because if we hit auto it's going to bump it back up to 36.6 we don't want that let's drop it down to 36 meters flat and if we want to be more specific we can again hop into our uh, pause menu our store menu and if we take a look at sprayers and this is what we have right here. We click on it. Yeah, it says that it has a 40 meter work radius. Well, that's not exactly true. Um, like I said, I've tried running it at 40 meters. And actually, I want to say 36 is even a little bit too wide as well. So I'm going to drop it down to uh, try to drop it down to about 42. Or I'm sorry, 30, 34. Saw the 4.2 there. It's kind of difficult because, you know, it, you can't just, uh, you know, give it one little click. It's just got to kind of do it itself. Oh, come on. F34.1, that'll work. I can deal with that. So we've got that set up, but we're on a new field here, and, you know, this has been set up for other fields. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit new right here for set new direction and there we go that is the line we're going to be following now the great thing about this is you know I could hop in and you know just drive it myself kind of freehand it but it will take a lot more time to do that so again if we hold control and hit this little GPS activate pa uh, passive button you can see the uh, you know radio waves turn on there and now we have the GPS turned on. And the great thing is, is that this thing will drive down that solid green line every time, will not falter as long as you're not going too fast for the machine. So let's go ahead and we will turn on our sprayer just like that and give her some gas. Right now I am using the uh, Logitech Momo uh, steering wheel to do this. I find it easier to uh, you know play this game with a steering wheel especially the uh, pedal setup for the Momo I do have the uh, G27 but there's so much to the G27 and it's a lot harder to set up that uh, I just prefer to uh, you know run the the Logitech Momo uh, for this game as you can see we're cruising down this field at about 18 mile an hour we're already about halfway down the field now doing this line of spraying so why are we doing this? Well, in the Seasons mod, you can fertilize up to three different times. Uh, and it's really important if you have the Seasons mod installed because it's not just the Seasons mod that allows you to fertilize up to three times. The actual game itself will allow, allow you to fertilize up to three times. But with the Seasons mod, uh, you want to get the, best, the most bang for your buck. Uh, so that's why we fertilize it all three times. Coming up here to the end of the field, we're going to shut off the sprayer. And now if I, as soon as I take the wheel, um, 
you know, you heard the three beeps. That means that we were coming up to the end of the field. And that little beep right there lets me know that, uh, you know, the um, GPS is turned off. We're going to do a shift four, five, and six. That turns on our all wheel drive. Why that got turned off, I'm not exactly sure. So now we've got four wheel drive in this bad boy. We can come over here. And as you can see, I'm not perfectly lined up with that green line. However, as soon as I turn on the GPS and give it some gas, it will auto steer and hop right back on that line. Turn on the sprayer and here we go down the next line. So anyways, like I was saying guys, um, you know, when you plant the fields, if you get the right seeder, you can plant the field and fertilize it at the same time, which is great because that counts as one fertilization. Each growth stage, you can then add more fertilizer. And every time you add a stage of fertilizer to your crops, it increases its yield by 30%. So that's great because that means that when you fertilize it the first time, you're getting a 30% increase. When you fertilize it the second time, uh, after it goes through a growth stage, that means that you're going to get now a 60% increase in the crop yield. And finally, after it goes through one last growth stage, just before you harvest it, that will get you a 90% increase on your uh, yield, which is uh, definitely what you want. Like I said, especially considering that we are using this seasons mod, which makes it a lot harder. The crops take a lot longer to grow. Uh, you know, these soybeans here have been planted uh, for, well, ever since the map started. And we are on the first day of summer and, you know, these uh, crops here literally just sprouted at uh, 12 o'clock midnight. So 12 hours ago, almost 13 hours ago is when these crops finally sprouted. Uh, it was the first day of summer. So it's been roughly nine days, uh, which, yeah, you know, is that realistic in the sense of the term? Not really, you know, I mean, you know, you, you can't do real time all the time. If you were going to do that, uh, you um, might as well, uh, you know, go out there and, uh, you know, be a farmer. So this takes all of the seasons, like I said, and compresses them down into nine day seasons, uh, which we can and we have, as I said, uh, sped up time just a little bit just so that we could get to a harvest a little bit quicker or, you know, have the grass grow so we can chop it down for either silage or for hay bales. But for the most part, we, we've been running for the past several days now uh, on real time, which is, uh, you know, in a way kind of nice because that gives you a lot more time to actually do stuff but it also means that there is a lot of time just spending and wait, yes, spending, wow, spending and, uh, you know, waiting for crops to grow. So you have to kind of find other things to uh, occupy your time. And uh, we will touch on some of those other things, uh, such as, you know, forestry, chopping down trees. Uh, there's also, you know, taking care of the animals, which we saw uh, you know, there's quite a bit that you can do. Um, you know, the outside view is not the only view. We can actually go inside if we press the C key. There we go. We have a uh, inside view. Turn off our hazards. We don't need those out in the field. And there we go. We have a uh, nice, decent inside view of this sprayer. And yeah, we're going to waste just a little bit of uh, fertilizer here going over this area but don't mind the clipping over there but we want to make sure that we get this entire line here however when i'm doing the spraying i like to be kind of uh high and out i mean you can do all the way down to the ground level you could do a straight top down view kind of like this uh wide angled 
high and uh, up view just because uh, farm sim likes to get a little bit buddy at times and render kind of goofy uh, so the uh, less that you have it rendering uh, you know basically on your screen the less work it has to do and as you can see you know the the frame rates kind of drop when you do this and you get kind of some screen tearing could it just be my rage yeah it could just be my rage uh, but I found that you know if I keep it somewhat like that I uh, you know I don't get as much uh, frame rate issues and the game you know runs fairly smooth for me others uh, may not have that issue uh, like I said it, it could just be my computer and can we do this without hitting the tree no we cannot so let's go ahead and we will kill our sprayer there and you know what it's going to do it anyway so we will crank the wheel hard right turn on the sprayer and let's uh, back it on up here there we go and yeah I know we're wasting just a little bit of fertilizer here but uh, you know that's okay it's not a huge amount that we just wasted uh, we try to be as resourceful as possible Tiger and I did not buy the uh, absolute best equipment uh, or the most expensive equipment there we go we'll shut down our sprayer and let's go ahead and uh, actually come over here uh, we do not have the uh, other mod. There is a mod that you can get that uh, has destroyable crops. So everything that I did there driving over the crops would have killed them. I am glad that we don't have that mod in. Because, you know, sometimes you just want to save time. And you can't necessarily do that by, you know, sticking to the roads all of the time. So, you know, sometimes you just... You don't want to drive through the fields. Let's go ahead and back up here. And again, you know, we'll be wasting just a little bit of fertilizer going down, uh, you know, the outside of this. You know, we're only going to get half, but it'll work out in the long run. So again, I'm not all that worried about it at this point in time. So there we go. Yeah, uh, if I could fold up that left hand side, I definitely would. We hit the F1 key, we will get the help menu. And as we can see, all we can do is uh, fold the booms. We can't fold the booms individually. Uh, some models that I've used in the past, uh, you actually can, which is very, very nice, I won't lie. Uh, other models, uh, you know, are like this one. You just can't do it. Uh, you've got 40 meters to work with. Uh, period end of story that's all you can use is uh, the full 40 which means that you know we're only right now I utilizing about half of our fertilizer the other half is being technically wasted because well we're fertilizing the grass on a field that you know we're not any even uh, it's not even a field that uh, you know it's the side of the road um, so yeah, you're, you're welcome County Commission. I, I hope you enjoy our fertilizer on your grass. So we'll come up here. And again, you know, we're going to have an issue here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to stop short. We will turn this beast 90 degrees here. Again, this thing doesn't like to do corners all that well. So what I will normally do is what you guys see right here. We will square it up, get it right around 90 degrees or so, make sure we're not overhanging a whole heck of a lot. And there we go, we'll just uh, turn it on and manually drive it right down the 90-ish uh, degree mark, right to the other side of the field. And we will hit a light spike. There we go. Now we can do the same thing over here as well come down here again we're going to make sure that we overlap just a little bit set it up right about 270 and there we go 
Uh, if you hear a lot of zipping back and forth, that is this uh, Logitech Momo steering wheel. I do apologize for that. Um, it is rather loud. It is gear driven instead of belt driven like the uh, G27. So it is uh, quite a bit louder than, you know, the G27. Uh, it only has a uh, 900 degree turn radius, whereas the G27, I believe, has a 12 or 1400 uh, radius. So we will uh, just go ahead and as you can see, we're still overlapping just a bit there. Um, but this is kind of giving us uh, what is known as a headland. Uh, it's basically an area that we can turn around in. Uh, you'll see a lot of farmers do this uh, when planting and uh, combines do this uh, when they are harvesting. And basically what that does is, is it gives room for the head to turn around without heading, hitting anything. Wow, heading anything. Good one there, Red. So yeah, that's why it's called a headland, uh, because that's where the head hangs out. Uh, the head, of course, being the chopping blade on the harvester. And, you know, that way they can, again, turn around without having to worry about the head of the combine or the harvester uh, hitting every, anything. So they'll take, you know, two to three laps around the field to create that headland. And then when they're done, they will start doing the rows back and forth like we are doing now. Uh, up here, you know, we should not have too many issues, I don't think. Uh, we might. So we might end up throwing a uh, headland here as well. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to. Because, you know, that silo's in our way there. So let's go ahead and we will back up here. And we will just kind of lay down some more fertilizer right there. And look at that, we ran out as we get that much done. And of course, we will hit the camera button instead. So anyway, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to finish out this field and a few other fields here. Uh, if you did like this episode, uh, make sure that you... Uh, Hit that thumbs up button and uh, leave a comment uh, you know uh, this is uh, something new something that I wanted to try and how can we get back over here to the farm to fill up so we'll come around this way there we go um, but yeah you know I, I've been thinking about this for a while uh, wanting to start something up you know a farm sim uh, yeah this is a server play farm sim that I'm in right now but, uh, you know, that doesn't mean that uh, it has to remain a server play. Uh, I can get this exact same setup over on a single-player single, single player map and add more mods or take mods out on the single-player if I want to. We've got our uh, support trailer here, which if we come over and park it right here by our sprayer and hop out, can actually start refilling the sprayer as long as we're close enough and actually I forgot the uh, support trailer is a little bit goofy it only likes to fill from the left hand side so let's uh, come over here on the left hand side of it and you know what we'll just kind of park the tree right between the booms there we go and we'll start filling it up but anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. Again, I hope you're liking this uh, series. Uh, you know, there will be a couple of more episodes that will come out uh, here fairly soon as well. But in, in the meantime, guys, uh, you know, let me know what you, what you guys think if you want to see more. I, I like it for the simple fact that I can sit down I can actually talk to you guys and, you know, just kind of relax and take it easy you know it's not so uptight like uh you know the, the lspdfr series uh you know the the minecraft there, there's a lot of tutorial type stuff going on this is more of a laid back and you know if you uh, for lack of a better term therapy session with red just you know say here you know start leaving me some uh questions down in the comments below and 
you know, I, I can get a list of them and I, I can start reading them here in the uh, Farm Sim series uh, or any other series that's kind of laid back like the Farm Sim series. But anyway, guys, have a great day uh, and I will definitely talk to you in the next one. See ya.